what's going on guys this is Ruben with level one news and I'm here to talk about a product that I reviewed um, specifically a soundbar it's a pretty good soundbar at that I reviewed um, JBL's 5.1 soundbar now this isn't like any other soundbar in the market um, and when I say that I mean that it literally takes on the form of different kind of components and ways that you can actually set this up around your house, your apartment, when you're when you want to put a different kind of listening experience. So basically, right out of the box, you get uh, a subwoofer, a giant soundbar, and two detachable speakers that come from the actual main soundbar itself. And so, what I mean by that is this little beauty. So the this is one out of two soundbars that go two one out of two speakers that go off of the side of the actual main soundbar and you can put this in a listening listening position where it is behind you it is next to you and it becomes a surround sound and not only does it do that it does it wirelessly i know it is actually pretty cool um it comes with brackets so that you can mount things all around including the main bar and it actually comes with the subwoofer so really off the bat it's a good deal um, you're getting the bar you're getting detachable speakers that make it a 5.1 uh, 3.1 setup or like surround setup and you're getting the subwoofer um, components or to say speakers and other soundbars in this nature when you want to start getting to the whole the soundbar being your main and then a subwoofer can, can charge you anywhere between like 300 400 500 to 600 dollars a piece for each unit um but this setup gives you not only that, those two components together for 699 but you're also getting two detachable speakers that then can be like your your surround sound setup which is pretty crazy because a wireless surround sound setup at that point to add two more speakers is another two or three hundred dollars for other competitors um so what you're getting here is a 510 watt speaker system. You're also getting a 10 inch bass uh, with enhanced sound in it. You're getting HDMI components input for the soundbar, optical, and so forth. And for the HDMI, it supports 4K setup, so you can obviously put that through. Uh, for my setup, I've did anything between put it, uh, passing it through for the 4K and then getting the sound off of the sub of the soundbar or I can plug it into the TV and then just do an arc which is the audio return channel and you'll still get all the same systems or if maybe things happen in the future where then you're gonna need better um, you know like HDR plus uh, HDR 10 plus or other things like that or maybe even Dolby Vision I'm not 100% sure if that all passes through that will definitely work with the setup of having it through your TV and then back down to the actual soundbar so the biggest thing for us is that you know how does this thing sound and it sounds pretty good um, I would say vocals came out very clear speech uh, while people were talking in movies um, concerts like performances that I saw the voice and dialogue came out very clear uh, then when I would put on things like Netflix and stuff, that's when you start hearing really the disperse of the actual surround happening. If I had the speakers detached, even if I did it, I got a very big, like enveloping amount of sound that came out of it. And then the subwoofer is actually a pretty strong subwoofer, which you could actually tune with the remote and kind of have that whole thing set up and like get some stronger bass or get other things going. Cause it actually has a decent amount of features within the subwoofer, I mean, within the sound bar itself. That come up on its display for movies it sounded really good uh, like I said the dialogue and everything sounded really good for games I heard really nice crisp sound coming out of it uh, when I did the fight when I did the actual surround setup I heard like nice distinct sounds coming out of each thing and it's really nice because you could actually just boost the sound uh, from the menu for the surround or just the whole thing or kind of have one thing going off more than the other or even the subwoofer kind of getting crazier toning it down so it's really nice uh, I would say my only real issue with uh, the surround and it's a little bit crazy it's not like an, an insane thing it's just more of like 
stuff stuff that sort of happened along the way uh, was me putting it in a surround position every once in a while I would say between mid to low battery I would start to hear a crackle like every so often and that looks like it's like maybe it's like the connectivity is breaking up and there's like some sort of interference although there is a low low frequency like that it's using for this so that nothing's actually you know things come out pretty clear on it it does sometimes give me like a crackle um which is a little odd but that didn't last too long i would say like it lasted like a minute or it was like or a minute or two of crackling and then it kind of just went back to normal but it was very odd that it like happened and i was like i was wondering if i was like putting something in the way or that was just like not enough you know like there was too much distance in between um which it, i really didn't i had it like in a medium room living room um bedroom setup so i feel like it, the connectivity should have been fully there strong but it could be anything from that to like it just be, you know like dying or whatever and i mean the thing has like 10 hours of battery life so it'll last you a decent while before you have to just connect it again and then with connecting again your uh it charges uh three hours until you have to like put it out again and i mean Putting it into one soundbar, I would use it to. I would use it in both orientations. I would have it like in, got a lot of sound coming at me, or I would detach it, and I would just get the surround going. So really cool. And just to give you like a decent look at this, this is like what it looks like. Really, really nice speaker. Obviously, it says it's right there. The so really nice. Um, I actually really love this unit and it comes in a really like adorable package where it's like the whole bar is there, the subwoofer is there. It's almost like you're packing a, like a bait, like a basketball or a soccer with like a baseball and like you're trying to like wrap it together. It looks like that kind of sort of setup where you're like, I have no idea what this, this is in this box, but it's like, it's big and it's all trying to make like the shape of what it is. So. I would totally recommend this. Uh, I had a really fun review on this. This is a really unique product, I would say. Oh, one more thing I have to mention. If you were, if the battery was dying, uh, or you know, like it looks like it needs to be charged or whatever, it does have a USB in the back. So if you do have this in a surround setup where somehow it was close to an outlet of some sort that you can kind of power it, then you could kind of get that going on either side have that thing going continuously so it doesn't always have to do the rinse and repeat of being in the unit and then being out and then being in the unit and being out if you have some sort of you know permanent more permanent solution if you want to do if you want to call it that uh, so that stuff is is pretty cool to add uh, so yeah and I mean I would all and I would put it in you know this kind of position I would put it in this kind of position um, just to see like the different kind of orientations of the sound I felt like you know, it worked a little different each way, but it was still very good. Uh, so it was, that was pretty, that was pretty good, good, pretty interesting. Uh, so yeah, definitely will recommend this. Uh, once again, you get a pretty crisp sound. Not sure it's it, like an insane amount of sound that you would get in probably some higher end competitors, some things that are going to be more expensive. But what you're getting here is like across the value, very good. You're getting a giant sound bar detachable speakers and the subwoofer in one unit and not only that it is all wireless so including the subwoofer to everything else to these to the main unit it is all wireless so you really can't beat that I would say with anything you're trying to get going on that's also what that drove me to this it was just like this is a great solution for dorm rooms, for small rooms, for even medium size, like bedrooms and stuff like that. I mean, you can put this in your old solution for everything else. It has the 4K, so you're pretty good on future-proofing on what this is. Uh, I would totally recommend people checking this out um, and seeing how this fits in sort of their setup world. Because once you start to weigh in like, oh, I got a soundbar, I'm gonna have to get a subwoofer. Oh, I'm gonna want to probably get like two speakers or whatever possibly wireless that's the best way to set it up and at that point you're getting like double to triple the price of this so once again recommend this you have to check out the JBL 5.1 bar great stuff um, so hope you like this review uh, check out some of our other stuff coming our website level one news lvl 8 scom 
Um, and check us out here at YouTube and stuff. Subscribe. Subscribe to the site. Subscribe to the channel. This is Remy with Level 1 News. See you later.